Okay, uh, rather than sending a bunch of pictures, I decided to take a video and give you the link. Uh, it's 76 vet, as you can see. Here's the first crack. Here's the second crack. Some cracking around here. This back cone is probably going to have to be replaced. Okay, there's the door panel. All the glass is intact. Let's see if I can get the seat to slide forward. There's the release. I couldn't remember where the release was. Anyway, here's the back area. Usual stuff here. Just put a battery in it. You can see that the black back glass is there. T-tops are really good shape. Visors are there. Now we believe it's had an L82 put in it. I'm going to verify this. It's got a Hearst shifter on it. It's got a little cheap Pioneer radio in it. All the gauges work. Floor mat area. All that 70s velour. Okay, so now I'm going to come over on the driver's side. You can see it has the emblems, the windshield's in really good shape, hood's in good shape, it's got all the stock wheels, you got some spider cracking on the front grill area. Corvette symbols there. That. I don't know if you can hear the engine. It sounds pretty good. Driver's door does have some some uh, superficial, I, I think this is mostly paint. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's in the fiberglass. Kind of spider cracking. If you're gonna do it upright, it's gonna need a paint job. Let me, I'm gonna, this outer handle here is a little sticky. I'm gonna fix that. It's just been sitting for a, a while. But we actually, uh, after we put the battery in it this morning, it actually, uh, fired right up without without too much hassle again another view of the back seat belts are there the center console I noticed it had a crack or two and uh, this the this switch right here for the window there's something up with that I'm gonna take a look at that I'm gonna fix that before we have it uh, before it's sold There's a picture of the odometer. Let's see if we can get that to clear up a little bit. There we go.
give it oil pressure. So I took this out for a drive uh, today. Um, the transmission, uh, I mean, it sounded like, uh, you know, an old cast iron tranny, so I'm going to take it into work and service it, but yeah, I don't know if you can see the T-tops. It's the, probably not coming through too well, but it's all there, all the edges. I'm, I'm on my back now looking up. Everything's there. Let me show show you the ceiling on the sides. Got a little bit of cracking. Here's the door plate. Pop the hood. I don't think that's the stock air cleaner. It's got some uh, got Edelbrock uh, valve cover gaskets and air cleaner on it. The thing runs like a champ though, for how old it is. There's the emission stick. Let's see if we can get this to focus up here. It does have a cheesy aftermarket alarm on it. Alright, I'm going to put the hood down and uh, I'm going to see if the headlight system works. I have not tested this yet, so let's see if the headlights work. Yeah, both the headlights came up pretty even, too. So both, uh, both the vacuum motors are working. Pretty solid car overall. Uh, just give me a call if, you were, if you're interested, 760-900-0342. And uh, let me know.